Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Dell Precision 15 3590. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo eight captive Phillips head screws. Use a lever tool to pry the zones behind the hinges. By doing so, you'll pop the whole rear section and part of the sides. Then, fully pry the sides and the front with a thin plastic tool. Our device has the optional 54 watt hour battery. The base model has a capacity of 42 watt hours. To take it out, unplug the connector from the motherboard and undo the five Phillips head screws that keep the unit fixed to the chassis. The optional capacity is enough for around seven hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Optimized Power Plan in the Dell Optimizer app. According to Dell, the two SODIMs support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The W1 slot for optional LTE or 5G connectivity can be seen on the left of the memory slots. You get two M.2 slots compatible with Gen 4 NVMe drives, one for 2230 or 2280, and one for the shorter 2230 SSDs. The slot on the left has a metal cap on top that is held in place by two Phillips head screws. Below the metal shroud, there is a small thermal pad. The Wi-Fi card is placed on the left of the cooling. The thermal system seems decent for a laptop with such hardware. It has one big fan, two long heat pipes, one side-mounted heat sink, and two heat spreaders.